A uh, special treat for foodies everywhere. He's renowned for his culinary expertise and entertaining personality on the popular cooking show Yan Can Cook and has a decorated career in the culinary industry on an international level. Joining us now is Martin Yan, Yan Can Cook. I can't tell you, and I know you probably hate this, but I grew up watching you because I don't like it when people say that to me, right? I grew no, up watching No, you. I feel good because I always help people. When we were young and watched me, I was also very young. We grew up together. That's a good one. Well, that's Take a good that one. Well, you know, um, this is a month the a a Asian, uh, um, uh, um, Ameri Asian American Pacific, Pacific Islanders, Islanders, Islanders right? AAPI month. Actually, to me, Every month is an API. Of course month. it is. And every day is an API. You know, this is a, a diverse community. In fact, I just recently did a, a, a presentation, a live presentation for in a Little Saigon here, and, um, and uh, in honor of um, and, and thank all the wonderful people, all the Oakland policemen. I told them I'm a hero. Now, you cook at home? I do cook at home. And this is the healthier. You go to any Chinese restaurant, you always have chicken salad. I want to show you how to do the healthiest chicken salad. I grew up, I grew all this, I grew the, um, the, uh, the cucumber, I grew up the, um, the kale and, and vegetable. This was all grown in your garden? Yeah, you from my garden, yes. except the chicken. <laughs> uh, well, of course. Uh, so let me, let me ask you something as you're making this. In 1978, when you came on, yeah, yeah. Uh, the show was different. The food was different. Uh, now you do different things, right? As, uh, now we're in 2023. Definitely. In the beginning, I do a lot of deep frying, typical dishes, use a lot of oil, a lot of salt. Now, I cut down on the salt because of the aging population. We've got to eat healthy, okay? Uh, for 43 years, I have not gained one pound. Look at this. Not one pound. And then I want to show you awesome. how to make this. You know, food is about peeling, piecing to the eye, okay? And I want to show you how easy. See? Oh, Done. Wow. And then I will... Quickly, you see, cut, cut in half, and then, and cut it in half again, and then I go. Yen can cut. Of course, Yen can cook. And <laughs> Yen can cut. cut. And then when this is done, you can sprinkle it all over, and then give texture. The key of healthy eating is eat a lot of colorful vegetable. Colorful. Okay, and then to make it even healthier. Pistachio nut. A lot of people, uh, particular elderly people, I do a lot of things for the elderly people. You know, the, the problem of some nuts is very hard, and some people are allergic to a certain nut. Pistachio, high antioxidant. S chop it up a little bit, at the same time also put the whole thing. This is really soft. And actually, this is a great snack, because it's total protein, okay? So when this is done, this is so beautiful. It does look look great, all right. Okay, what kind of dressing is that? Now, this is wasabi dressing. Okay. Wasabi vinaigrette dressing. Look at that. This is so beautiful. It is healthy, it's easy to do, and everybody can do it at home. I've always wanted to ask you, you're one of the original chefs on TV. Yeah, yeah. What do you think now when you see a whole channel like Food Network, and we have a show on Fox, of course, we have a lot of chef shows on Fox. Yeah. Well, my think? good friend Gordon Ramsay, everybody. Yeah. Uh, actually, we opened a restaurant in Las Vegas called MY Asia, right next to Gordon Ramsay's uh, uh -huh. uh, place. But anyway, you know, the thing is, just like any media business, anybody, the more people get involved, it's better for, for the whole industry. Right. So, so I, I, I salute a lot of the people that are doing well on television. Everybody have a different personality, different approach, and different cuisine. And this one, it is so beautiful. Look at this dish. You cannot... I love it. You know, you cannot see this in a typical Chinese restaurant. It smells good. And it's so good. And I would like you to taste it. I in will fact, taste I it. have actually, I, will I have it. enough for everybody in the studio to taste. All right. In fact, we have people lining up on people the street. in the studio? Andre, Ali? <laughs> Andre, yeah, everybody. Blueberry, raspberry. Very so it's nice. a very healthy way to do. Martin, yeah. one quick last question. Yep. Mm -hmm. In 1978, I heard people said, your show's not going to last. People don't want to cook Asian food. What happened? Well, you proved them completely wrong. I proved them wrong because I believe if I, you're passionate about what you do, you never give up. If you love what you do, you don't have to work a day of your life. And I always tell people, you know, if you persist, if you never give up, you'll eventually be successful. Since 1978, the show has been on air for 44 years, broadcast in 60 countries around the world. And, um, and I'm so proud to be Asian American. We're so lucky to have you here today. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's, uh, I don't, do I have to say who this is? It's Chef Martin Yan. <laughs> Yan can cook. Thank you very much. You know what? Andre.
I, I don't know whether you actually cook at home. I do. Yeah, well, you cook at home. This is for you. Thank you. Look what he gave me. Thank you for <laughs> oh, nice. keeping this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.